Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy, and as you can see, RJ is out. He is working for his uncle today, and him and I are having a scheduling conflict to get us together. So today, he just stuck with me. Um, I tried to get him to do it, and he has had so much going on, just the same as I have, that he hasn't had time. I have about four hours, so I'm going to use that to hopefully do a very short podcast and fill you in on everything that's been going on around here. So we're going to start within the chapels, Romans 3, 23. Um, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Of course, we're kind of falling short of a lot of things, but we're getting um, some things done, which is a good thing. Um, so, right on into in the barn stalls, we don't have any more lambs right now. Um, if you remember, Carrie was the result of an ex not Carrie, Melody was an, a result of an escape. I do think that Carrie is bred. I just don't think that she's ready to go yet. Um, but I'm predicting her to be the next one, or um, Biscotti, I think, is also showing. She's really big, so I'm thinking she's going to have maybe triplets or something. I don't know. <laughs> she's huge, but she always gets huge. Um, she normally throws twins, but uh, Carrie, we'll see. Um, there should be a month. But there might just be three weeks in between when we want to start breeding season. So breeding season should be coming up. It's just it should be um, more towards the middle of March than it was the end of February. So, yeah. And we're, what, March 2nd or 3rd now? 3rd, I think. So, yeah. We're getting there. We've got probably another week or two before we really should have lambs hitting the ground. Um, let's see. Uh, Star went to another open. She did awesome. Um, she held her own. She's she's still green. And I think um, with her being as awesome as she is right now, um, not knowing what she's doing, when she puts it together and gets it all figured out and gets some practice in her, she's going to be amazing. Super amazing, guys. So, um, RJ has been taking her to ropens. He did really well. Um he ran a 7.7 second run on Coop the other night for a kip roping. That is NFR quality run. So that is national finals kind of stuff. Um, it's amazing. He, he did awesome. So, yeah. Um, it is what it is. But let's see. Mending fences. Um, RJ hit a deer. Yep, in the truck. So... It is getting, going to get a new, I haven't done it yet, it's still sitting out here. It's still drivable. It just has a dent in one quarter panel and a dent in the bumper. And yeah, it was a big deer that, it dented my big steel bumper, guys. Not once, but twice, two different parts. But um, I'm gonna get it into the shop. I just can't afford to do it right now because I've got the big trailer in the shop. Um, it's getting new lights. Yeah, and it may need a new axle. They're checking it out. I'm not sure. So we've got that going on. Um, like I said, we're falling short <laughs> in a lot of things, but we're working on it. So um, let's see. What is up next? Yarn farm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we get to a little bit of fun. Um, I told you I joined one of those um, clubs, which I did. It's through Annie's. And um, they sent me this. I'm just going to show you real quick. This is going to be the um, afghan that I'm making. So, and I got my first colors. And they are, I haven't even, they're gray. Um, we did the sands. It's got some grays and some browns in it. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I did that one, the grays. The colors are wrong on this one. Um, this is a stitch guide. Sorry, that one's not it. I did it all in grays and whites and charcoals. So the first one that I got, um, is this pattern for the three squares. And of course, I'm not going to show you those on camera. Um, but your first three blocks, it comes looking like this. And it tells you which block. And of course, this back here that I was showing you is, I think, Okay, so this is block one. No, this is block one. This is block three, and this is block two. So it tells you how to place them and which ones you're working on. And honestly, this first one is just a single stitch. 
Um, the next one is like a double stitch. Yeah. And then uh, the third one is where you get some design going on. So anyway, my first three blocks will be made of everyday worsted weight yarn. Two, there's 203 yards, it says. Light new, wash after wash, antique piling, peeling, uh, fuzzing. And it doesn't really say, it just says Premier. So I'm pretty sure it's theirs. And I will tell you, it looks more gray. I'm looking for a white sheet paper. Okay, so you can't have the notes on the back of that. But this is white, and you can see that it's kind of gray. This camera, and of course our lighting in the house here, doesn't do it justice. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be working on those over the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to... Um, I'm supposed to have enough yardage to do three blocks, but I'm going to go into my stash and I'm going to find some other colors and I'm going to try and do two of these at the same time. So I'm going to do two of each block, um, but I'm going to go into my stash and get ones. The kit, of course, comes with the grays and all that stuff. And, and I really do love it. it. It just looks like a classic traditional, I don't know, looks wintry, warm me up. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm going to do that. Um, RJ had the bus tours out here, um, or the president and the <sighs> tour. What was her official title? I'm trying to think. I don't know. So, anyway, uh, we had, it's like Discover the World or something, and these are Discover Oklahoma bus tours that they're putting together. And RJ's going to give them a... Uh, tour of the farm and a demo of the horses and explain our horse training program. They didn't seem real interested in the wool, which is fine by me. So we'll see how it goes. Um, we're supposed to hear back from them in a couple of weeks and let us know when and what's going to go on with that. Um, what else in the yarn farm? What else pertaining to this? Not a whole lot, guys. Um, we're getting things cleaned up and working on stuff. Oh, did forget one thing in the uh, stalls. We have baby chicks. Yep, five of them. RJ found them yesterday. He actually found seven. Two didn't make it. We don't know where they came from, what mama. Their two were in a barn by themselves with no mom at all. Three were over with a different hen that didn't even, two of them are like really little. And so they should have gone with, from our bantam. So I don't know who they belong to. But they're in my bathroom. Yay! <laughs> so it is not officially spring around here until we have a crystallix tub with a light and water and feeder in there with chicks in the bathroom. Just saying. That's the way it goes. So, yeah. Chicks are in the barn or in the bathroom. Uh, we have a stray cat that's around. And he's really an adorable cat. Um, he's big and yellow, but he doesn't come into the barn to eat with the others. So I think he might have gotten, cause RJ said there was like one or two dead chicks out there too, when he found them all. So I think that cat got some, um, I'm Jethro's used to him being around, but we didn't have chicks before. So it is what it is. And we didn't plan on chicks. So they're God's bonus to us, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And I love chicks. So yeah. All right. I really think that's all the business stuff we have, like that pertain to the farm and to the animals. Um, the rest of it, you know, in the fields, it's too wet. I, and I know you get tired of hearing me say that, but I don't want to skip the segment because then I'll forget about the segment. So um, next step is in the fields and it is too wet to do anything. Um, I did work with um, the person that I service and we grew, we've got some little starts of some seeds for his garden at home and what we did was we took the seeds out of a tomato from the refrigerator um, when we were cooking and we took some orange bell pepper some regular bell pepper some red bell everything that he had if it had seeds in it um, we harvested some seeds from the veggies that we we're cutting up and then we let them dry for about a week um, and then we planted them and some of them are actually sprouting I really didn't think it would work because I really thought that um, some of the chemicals and stuff from the other food might get them. I, I don't know. He doesn't buy organic. It was just a cucumber, um, just a bell pepper. 
So um, right now he's got those little cherry tomatoes. He's got some of those growing. And then he's got orange bell peppers. And he actually bought a packet of peppers and they haven't come up either. So he'll get what he gets. Um, we're trying though. So I am gonna start some. I have some orange bell pepper seeds that he gave me. He said, since Mike came up, why don't you plant some? So I'm gonna plant some of those and see if I can't get some orange bell peppers to come up this year. I love bell peppers, so you never can have too many of those, right? Uh, anyway, other than that, I really haven't done anything um, in the yarn. You'll understand here in, uh, yeah, in the farmhouse. Let's move on. All right, so first up, let's discuss RJ's in the farmhouse. Um, he's been roping. He pulled a personal 7.7 .7 best rope. Yeah, mm-hmm. And, of course, he's been working with Star. He's won a little bit of money there. He's been going as much as he can. Um, he won his first sponsorship. Yeah. So, um, if anybody out there watches us and wants to order pick and strings or ropes, and there's, they sell other stuff too, but if you need anything from uh, Lyle's Rope Company, he is now sponsored by them, and we will be more than happy to order something for you and then he that's part of his um, deal with them is that he will try and sell so um, there's not a coupon code or anything you have to contact RJ and you can email him at RJ at barnontheweb.com or you can call him just message us on Facebook or something we'll give you our phone or we don't put it out in the video but you can call him and he will get it to you you do have to pay your own shipping and handling if you're far away so if you are local and you need something, um, he is, he's always used their pick and strings. He's always ordered them. So he got this sponsorship. He's got patches that we're going to put on his work shirts. Um, and when we say work shirts, they're his rodeo shirts. And, um, yeah, he, he was so stoked today. I took him out to eat and we had to get him a new phone, his phone. He has an app that he has to download and his phone is so, it's just a cheap one and it doesn't have enough room because his, they also want pictures and stuff and his was full and video, getting video is, is getting harder with not having very much internal storage on his phone. So him and I both went and upgraded our phones so that, um, because I wanna see the videos, okay? And if I have to take them with my camera when I'm around, that's what I'm gonna do, so. <laughs> so him and I had to go and get, and his had started to not charge, so. Yeah, it, it was getting old anyway. It's lasted about a year. Um, I also went online and purchased him a new case for it with the tempered glass thing so that it doesn't break and um, a long cable for it so that he can charge it a little bit easier. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for him. Just rope and he has still been working for his uncle. He's been doing really well. Um, no complaints there really. As for me, well, last week I pulled 89 hours at two different jobs. I am transferring to a different person and one is 20 minutes from my house and the one that I work with right now is an hour and 20 minutes from my house. So while I do work a block of 40 hours, um, my drive time down there, and I only make the trip once a week, but then I've got some meetings I gotta go to and I've got house visits I have to do. So yeah, those things take like 15 minutes, but I have to drive an hour and 20 minutes, do 15 minutes worth of work, drive home an hour and 20. Now, once I get everything lined up and get the new person in the other house, then I will just be 20 minutes away and all of that will be super, super close compared to what I've been doing. But in the meantime, for the next couple of weeks, I've got to cover both. So it's fine, but it's just a lot of work and yeah, so I'm falling short there too. <laughs> I just feel like I'm falling short on several little things, but nothing that I can't handle. Um, I think this week I've only got 66 hours or 60 hours. Can't remember. I think it's 66 hours this week or 60 hours. Anyway, and then the following week I've got 60 or 66 too. So I think next week is 66 and this week is 60. 
Anyway, it's a lot. But I won't be pulling another 90 hour week, which is good. So, uh, by the end of March, I should have it all straightened out and back on a regular schedule. And then RJ and I should be able to podcast together. Um, it just depends on how things go. So, um, we were shooting for Sunday night, but it didn't happen. He went to a rope and Sunday morning, and I didn't even see him. So, today, and we've talked on the phone, don't get me wrong. Um, I didn't see him. He roped. Okay, I worked Friday. I worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Had from Tuesday evening to Wednesday morning off, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I worked. And then he roped Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I haven't actually seen my son since, until today, since Tuesday. And I only saw him as he transferred from his uncle, came up truck and stuff and went and did that. So yeah, I saw him very little. And then today, him and I had been talking and he told me his phone was messing up. I said, well, when I get home, I'll take you. I've got, you know, about five hours before I have to be to work again. So... I ran him over, he got a new phone, I ended up liking the phone, thought it's time to update mine anyway, so yeah, I made a reason to get mine updated too, so um, him and I actually both have the same phone, we have different cases on them, so, and that will, um, he's got a black case on his right now, I don't have any case on mine, but there's a pink one for him coming in the mail, and there is a wallet for mine coming in the mail, so um, yeah, we'll be able to tell them apart. So, and then I've done laundry and picked up. It is about 5.30 here, and I have to be to work here in a few hours. So, um, I know this is kind of really quick and all that stuff. Um, if I'd have thought real quick, I'd have gotten some video of the chicks and then splice it in. But I do have to get this done and up. Other than that, guys, I haven't had time to do anything. I will say that I will have more time to do this at work through the evening. Um, my new person goes to bed about eight o'clock and I don't go to bed till about 10. So I'll have about three hours um, of quiet time to myself. So I'll be crocheting on those. And I will tell you that the kit just, I kind of skipped over it, but it comes with the hooks and a metal needle. That's in a pack. It comes in this cute little package. Um, and it had, this package had the stitch guide in it. But I stuck the pattern in it too. So I'll have all of them in the same spot. And I'll have this little thing with all the patterns when I get done. So anyway, um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, crazy, crazy weeks. It's going to get crazier when we add in lambing season. But after it gets ironed out, when we get things ironed out with my work and stuff and all that we should be good get the trailer fixed then I'm gonna get the truck fixed the truck is drivable it just dented it um, so uh, and RJ can't be without the truck right now because of the rodeos and working and back and forth so yeah mm-hmm yep 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 just life guys <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you life is kicking our rears right now so um, yeah I don't think we have anything else really going on. Like I said, I've been working. He's been doing the maintenance around here, working for his uncle, roping, and going to rodeos or jackpots most of the night. So, um, oh, we do have a new intern that is interested. I've talked to her mom, and I'm going to get them an applica application. So you might see some new faces around the farm this summer. Uh, of course, all the ones you guys knew before have moved on our last year um last summer ashley actually got her job and stuff so yeah i've been writing letters of recommendations and we'll have an open spot which i think we have filled so it depends on whether i take on two it was easy with bell and ashley to take on two because they were cousins and i just tell them uh, -uh not here you know what i mean they they'd have a little tip and i'd say ah, you're not cousins here um, it was one driver, one, they came at the same time kind of thing. So I don't know that I want to take on two this summer just for the fact that I'm working too. So I, I, Randall, I had to kennel him to do this because he was going crazy. So anyway, all right, I'm off of here. You guys, I know it's short, sweet. 
Um, hope that it finds everybody safe. Don't forget to turn your clocks ahead. You know, spring forward, fall back. Yeah, we're springing forward this Saturday, guys. Yeah. And I don't think I'll be at work that night. I think I have, I think once I get off Thursday at like four in the afternoon, three or four in the afternoon, I have all of Friday and all of Saturday off. It'll be my first block of time off, and then I go back to work Sunday. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking for, for two days off. So, all right, I'm going to let you off of here. Um, congratulate RJ on his sponsorship, and if you guys need anything, make sure that you get a hold of him. Um, I think our email address is in the comments below. If not, I might just type it in. Uh, so, just get a hold of us any way you can, and RJ will call you back. He'll give... He, We'll freely give you his phone number for an order, but we just don't stick it out on the internet. You know, it's probably out there anyway, to be honest with you, but we try not to help that. All right, I will talk to you later. Have a good one, guys, and stay safe and enjoy the nice weather.